Alright, hello and welcome to the second episode of my Let's Play on Mesozor and this is my new house or rather mansion because it's quite big. Uh, I've decorated it, it's got the same coloured walls that I've got in my room. Uh, sadly my room isn't actually this big, it nearly is but it's not, not quite. Uh, I've got a fish tank, I have a fish tank here, uh, I've got my swimming pool outside and this is actually in Hawaii. Um, rather than Ibiza because I've moved over I'm a much higher level now, I'm like level 26 or 27 something like that anyway um, but let's go and show you my garage because that's the main thing we want to see I've got all nice pictures up there but I'm not going to bother showing you that let's go straight to the point and show you all my cars see I've got an even bigger fish tank in this garage but that's the Lotus Evora Solar Crown, which you win on the Ibiza One Cup. You also win a million dollars, but this is my off-road car and my nice snazzy paint job, which I spent way too long doing, considering it's not that brilliant. There's my little logo, look, which you'll recognise. This is the uh, SLR McLaren Roadster 722S, which you win off of Stuart, and he's got a rather like, poor paint job on it, it's kind of distasteful really, I don't like it much, a bit ugly but it does the trick and it's a good A2 car, not bad for free, and this is the car which I'm going to be driving today, which is my favourite car in the game so far, which is the Pagani Zonda Sync or something like that, Sync U or I don't know how you pronounce it, let's fire it up, you can give it can hear that there. See it's a nice interior, all carbon fibre. The only problem with this car is on all the Zondas the carbon fibre shows up. There's kind of lack of attention to detail because I'm sure any car enthusiast will know that the carbon fibres weave or if you even watch Top Gear or the Italian Job or whatever, the Italian Job as in Jeremy Clarkson's The Italian Job DVD, he shows the um, Pagani Zondas and the carbon fibre is in a V-shaped weave so it's symmetrical either side and obviously here they've not done that but I'm not going to pick on stupid things like that I'm just going to go and drive it and what I want to show you today rather than just showing you the car I'm going to show you where all the racing tracks are in Hawaii and you see my car there, nice and shiny, that's my character right Let's jump straight to the map. Now I've bookmarked all of the locations, so take a good look at this. Every single one of these has a racing track on it. I'll zoom in so you can see exactly where. Right, there we go, there's the first one. Right near the golf course here. Uh, there's also a club right there, which is the club which I'll probably end up being it at because you'll come straight out of there with your club car straight onto the racing track although I am contemplating going for the club up here because this club here is just down the road from the best circuit in the game which I think has been inspired by the Spa Grand Prix circuit because it certainly looks like it, you've got sections which are very Spa like anyway and that is the best circuit and that is what we're actually going to go have a drive around now we'll have a zoom in thinking you you can usually find a few people online here uh, knocking about but I don't want to get involved with them really you see my nice sonder there uh, I'm just basically going to do a few laps of this to show you what the uh, the circuit's like oh there's someone online let's go race them I've got it on hardcore by the way so you have to forgive my driving oh he's only got a crappy GTR he won't be able to keep up let's just go see you later GTR right there's one section on this track where I keep crashing so you'll probably know about it when I crash there
being a bit cautious. I don't want to go for a second. I want a nice clean run. See, I've got no doubt that all the records on this track will be held by Bugatti Veyrons. But as we all know, this game isn't just about setting fastest laps and getting the top speed, it's about style and socialising and class. And that's something that the majority of people who go straight for the Bugattis don't understand. Because they think, oh I'm so unique, I'm faster than everyone else. And the, at the end of the day, everyone sees Bugattis. Everywhere I go, there's a Bugatti. And they always try to challenge you. And you're just like, I'm not going to race you, mate. I'll just quite happily sit here in my better looking, better sounding, better to drive car. While crashing off the circuit here. That was the section which I always screw up. So I'm going to do an extra lap and see if I can actually get it right. And I'll do a lap where I don't talk. Just so you can hear the sound of the car which will start now. And there we go, that's a couple of laps of that circuit for you. So I'll bring up the map again just so you can see where they all are. And if you basically just go on the map yourself, zoom in on each of these locations, and you should be able to find them. Um, they're fairly obvious, you can see that they're just stand out from the rest of the roads. And when you actually explore them they turn purple, so that's how you identify them. But anyway, as always, please rate, comment, subscribe if you like the video, and I'll see you next time.